Contact tracing is a public health tool that's essentially detective work. When you have someone who has a contagious illness, you look for the people around them who they may be exposed and also who they may have gotten the disease from. So both WVU and through the school public health and our health, local health departments are trying to figure out where did a person get COVID-19. Smartphone technology is being used for contact tracing in some foreign countries. But here in West Virginia, they're using phone interviews for tracing. It's basically using the person's recall, trying to figure out where had they been. And for coronavirus, it's a long time. It could be 14 days. So there's where it's challenging. So who is considered a contact? Do you work in an office with um, other people where, although you may now have your desks further apart, there's four of you in a room, those are contacts. Um, are you going in the break room and you're standing maybe shoulder to shoulder, you don't really mean it, but you're making your coffee and you're chatting and whatever. I kind of think that's a contact. It's more someone you've been with for more than 15 minutes, perhaps half an hour, and maybe you weren't wearing masks. Patient privacy is protected and the sick person's identity is not revealed. Our county health departments, our state, listen to what they have to say, follow what their advice, and if they call you, call them back and talk to them. They are doing the best job they can, and it's really important. In Morgantown for the WVU Medicine Health Report, I'm Mary Ravazio-Menard.